first and foremost, when I came to Atlanta, I just knew that I was about to choose everything black. Everything blackity, black, 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 <laughs> black. That, I do feel like black people have this type of mentality that they hate the idea of them having to have a servant's heart mm. or a servant's way. Like when you are in the service of servicing people mm -hmm. as actual service, like a waitress, mm -hmm. a cosmetologist, a barber, like a lot of times people will be mad at you for telling them how you want <laughs> your hair to be done. Mindset that you get a few dollars, you buy a Mercedes, <laughs> you get a few dollars, you get a big house, you get a few dollars, you get the surgery and all of these things you have to maintain. Yeah, so cool. instead of being able to charge regular prices like all other races, do you have to charge double because your silly butt went out in them streets and got a Mercedes that you couldn't afford. Yeah. You got the big house that you couldn't afford. You got the weaves that you couldn't afford. Now yeah. you have a certain image that you have to keep up. Mm. And in order for you to keep that up, you have to double your prices and you got a bad attitude because you're stressed out because you yeah. really can't afford everything that you're doing in your yeah. lifestyle. This is an Iwebu production. Period. So recently I was doing some uh, social media scrolling and I came across this video where this guy, I don't know exactly who this is in this podcast, but it's like this welcome to the culture page that I follow. And this man is going off about black people in customer service. I was like, dang, this is not something that we usually talk about, but I felt like I wanted to dive in with the pillow talking family. Y'all check out this clip. Black people have the worst customer service in the mother world and you can say that you don't agree with that because i'm gonna fuck why and we get our customer service better we'll make more business bottom line so you can say whatever you want when you go to the chinese restaurant they nice to you they hey ray how you doing today no they just as mean hey, i don't go to the chinese restaurant all right but you know what i'm saying ray like, i don't stop. go we can yell you I'm yelling don't make ray. your point i'm speaking more for ray. ray at the end of the day agents don't sit there and say hey your customer service has to be perfect your product has to be a one before i support you they support you so other races support Tamara. you so sue sue in the west there from american deli is a she's a very customer service driven individual she, she oh, understands. Shout out to the, to the one Asian. Oh, my God. Sue moved to, Sue moved to the West End. Sue moved to the West End, and Sue started selling wings. And now you can take a selfie with Sue. You can have a good time with and Sue. And Sue only plays Gucci. Like music. She and, does. Like, so oh, that makes sense why he's defending Sue. She's That's playing it. to her audience. She's playing it. <laughs> she understands her audience. So y'all going to go to black people restaurants because you can take selfies nah, so, and so, so, nah. and so and, until Gucci. Hold on. So when you talk about black customer service, I had this conversation the other day with one of our artists. She was like, my nail tech moved from Atlanta. I was like, I got another one for you. She asked me, she was like, she black? I was like, yeah. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to go to her. She probably don't do feet. And she probably going to charge me an arm and leg. And I was like, fuck. She's like, every black nail tech she went to in Atlanta are like, I'm not going to touch your feet. They charge you an extra uh, res a reservation fee. Mm -hmm. And then they give you service when you get there. And I was like, that's up. We can't even have. Bro, I spent, bro, I spend half a million dollars a year on both, bro. And I love spending money. And the reason why I don't spend with black establishments like that, because they got up attitudes. They didn't give you a smile. Then they say, hello, how you doing, man? I take your order. But I'm supposed to keep spending with them because they look like me? Fuck that. Uh -huh. The rich are gonna, the, the rich are, the people that are gonna rise to the top, the people that understand what it takes to win. Not the people that feel like, you should let me win because they let them win. That's not how you win. The only thing that matters is the service. We are in the service business. Service I am business. in the service business. I am successful. Six, 16 years later, you, I love Tehran, I love Tehran. Guess why you love Tehran? Because Tehran understands when I walk in this, I'm a service. Yeah. You don't look at this to walk in here like I'm the biggest songwriter in the world. Y'all all need to bow down to me. That's why we yeah. rich. And my thing is a black man that has made millions of dollars and want to see other black people make millions mm -hmm. of dollars. I know the one thing that's a difference is the fucking attitude. That's why I yell. Because the attitude is the difference. And if you fix your attitude, everything else will follow. But you think, well, they ain't got to fix their attitude. Well, we ain't them. Because if we was them, we would be where they are. We are us. And the thing that's holding us back is we don't treat each other with respect. So, so hold on, stop, stop. So I'm trying to teach you how to get to a certain place and you don't want to accept that you got to change your mother attitude if you do. And instead of change your attitude, yeah. you want to bring up what Asians do. I don't know if the mother is smiling by the way they talking. I don't know their culture. I know our culture and I know our culture. Black women have bad attitudes and so do a lot of black people. And my thing is that we want to make money that fix your mother attitude or you'll be off and you'll see another mother that's smiling they'll be like they only picked her because she's white no we picked her because she smiled wow Woo! hey man he came with that heat on this situation and i was like hey i'm all ears for it i got so much to say on this but i'm gonna pass the rock first babe i know you got something to say about this um i definitely do first and foremost when i came to 
Atlanta, I just knew that I was about to choose everything black. Everything blackity, black, 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 <laughs> black, black. I knew I was going to get a black nail tech, a black dentist, a black, all of that. Well, I took my little cute tail down to the a little bit of the hood or whatever because I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm like, it is what it is, but that should have been... Okay, that's another thing. <laughs> to go get my nails done. Yeah. Y'all, this nail, this nail tech had phenomenal reviews. Um, sh- from the website, she was decently priced. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was like, okay, you know, I'm excited about it. I had no apprehensions about it because I had never really had any black anything coming from Kansas city, Missouri. You got white people, you got the European, that's it. (laughs) And so I went first and foremost, I got there, the doors were locked. It was empty. And I was like, Oh, maybe this is like really bougie and like really, you know, upscale Mm -hmm. to where it's only one client at one time. Maybe she's not overbooking. Cause y'all also know them black people that be booking people on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Right. Go in baby. This girl, not, I mean, barely talked to me. Mm-hmm. barely said anything to me. It was a very strange, looking back, it was a very strange experience. But you also know mm-hmm. me that I don't like talking a whole lot when I'm getting any type of maintenance yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> the more you talk, the more I'm probably yeah. not going to book with you again. Like yeah. I literally have not went back to a girl that was fired because she talked too much. Like it was just, it was too much. I'm like, ma'am, yeah. do my nails and <laughs> shut up, please. Well, she didn't talk at all, this new girl. Mm -hmm. And so I get my nails done. She was very mediocre. Like I said, because I think there's a difference between not talking and it's professional and you're just like asking the essential things and Mm -hmm. another thing to be not interested. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like another person. Mind Mm -hmm. you, I'm a first time client. Like pull out the roses. Hey, welcome in girl. Where are you from? How did you hear about me? Nothing. So anywho, y'all. I was honestly more happy that she was quiet than anything. I was like, okay, she was quiet, a tiny bit pricey, but that's what I expected come to Atlanta. Well, I went back a second time. And this time I get my nails done. She talks a tiny bit more, but still not a whole lot. The shop was really, 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 really cute. But then after I ended up paying, or she said the price, it was like 75. Mind you, I had paid a $25 deposit and I got, I always get short nails. Y'all, this is my first time getting decent Well, y'all can't see decent length (laughs) nails. I always get short nails. So my nails are typically like 40, maybe $50. Mm. It was like super high. And then I, so anywho, I was like, okay, mind you, I got the same thing twice in a row, but Mm. this time it was higher. So Mm. I was like, okay, went ahead and paid. And I was like, I'm sorry. Can you just tell me real quick? Why is it? Oh, it's because I had to change your shape. And I was like, I didn't ask for my shape to be. Change okay. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm not yeah. sure because it was there. Yeah, I think I. Oh yeah, we. Yeah, we you were there. In the, you said yeah. in the little thing. Yeah, nice shop. Very nice shop. <laughs> Might have been a front for something else, but you know, it was giving. Yeah, like you the only customer or something. Yeah. <laughs> so anywho, girl, I ended up. I mean, not girl, because it's men watching this, but. I ended up going home, looking at my cash. I'm like, wait a minute, I paid this girl almost a hundred dollars for these nails. She got me. So I emailed her like, hey, is there any way that I can get my $25? Because I see that you charged me. Da, da, da. Y'all, this girl got smart with me. And instead of me going back and forth, forth with her, I said, baby, you just lost the client. That's it. Yeah. Have fun with that little $100 that you got. You'll never see me again. <sighs> and I think more than anything, my last point to this is that I do feel like black people have this type of mentality that they hate the idea of them having to have a servant's heart Mm. or a servant's way like when you are in the service of servicing people Mm -hmm. as actual service like a waitress Mm -hmm. a cosmetologist a barber like a lot of times people will be mad at you for asking for telling them how (laughs) you want your hair to be done oh yeah they will get mad. Like I had a girl that that braided my hair and these new school braiders, y'all, I braid my own hair because the way that these braiders be braiding, I'm like, eh. yeah. you know how they put, I know everybody won't connect with this, only women, but they put like a thick line of gel on your scalp, which blocks the follicles and everything mm-hmm. from actually being able to grow. I asked the girl, like, could you not do that? You could just tell they get irritated. Yeah. They get irritated with requests. They have that mentality like, okay, well go somewhere else then. It's not there. It's not like they want to back in the day. Mm -hmm. They knew each person what they wanted. Nowadays, I feel like everybody is treated the same. Everybody get the same haircut. Everybody get the same nails. Mm -hmm. Nothing is 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 personalized. And they just have a bad attitude behind it. And and I think that goes back to like the slave mentality. Like uh, we free too, y'all. You ain't about to be talking to me. Mm -hmm. Like they have an attitude 
Like we not paying their mortgage. Yeah. Like we not paying the wages of yeah. their services. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then my last point is one thing that I realized about Atlanta is that these waitresses are trash. Let me just say that. For sure. Um, but I realized that they're trash because they everywhere there's gratuity. And I'm like, oh, so when you don't have to work for something, it don't matter if we tip you or not. <laughs> Off tops, you're gonna good. get you gonna get twenty dollars. So they're not as back in my day when I was being a server. I had to work for my tips. Mm -hmm. So it, it required a, hey, good morning. And it's just the way that I was trained. It was the way that yeah. I was brought up. My first manager was very much like, go ask them how the how that weather feel outside. I don't care yeah. what you start. Start up a conversation. And I was the best yeah. in, in that game, okay? But that's also because I have a servant's heart. And yeah. I think that's a big problem in the black community mm -hmm. is that we hate putting ourselves in a position where we have to serve Ooh. someone. Yeah. We hate that idea. Yeah, that's why don't. there's a bunch of pastors. That's why mm, everybody wants their own that's church. Good. That's why I know, oh, that's not the, I, I can do that Ooh, better. I can't be I can't be a, a Indian. I gotta be the chief. Yeah, and it's like I, I start my own thing. You know, have you ever looked at pastors in this, it's like if all three of y'all got together y'all would have a mega church a but mega now church. everybody just got a hundred members and they little small <laughs> churches each yeah it acting clicky yeah because yeah. you hate the idea that you will have to serve yeah. and submit to something and so yeah. it's a mindset thing yeah what about you babe what do you oh, think oh my goodness listen customer service is my heart yes listen so if you don't know um uh, one of my daytime jobs, I was in retail for a very long time, probably mm. overall, let's say combined to my adult life, about 12 years <clears> of <throat> my adult life working for uh, T-Mobile, <coughs> T-Mobile corporate, but also like uh, indirect. That's basically a T-Mobile when you walk in there. And when it came down to customer service, you probably remember this. I was taking all the awards home every yeah. every single month. I got pictures. You can go on my Facebook and all that. And you will see that every single month we were the top. Nobody could figure out what was the sauce. It was integrity, yeah. okay? And it was treating everybody just with, like, respect, welcome in, the music is going, nice vibe. Is, I mean, I come in, man, I come in the stores nowadays, and they, they I want to walk out. I don't hear no music. They don't talk. No welcome in. What's your name? Get you on the list. Nothing. Y'all, I'm so. No, like, I'm talking, I walk in, it's like, hmm. You know, I'll be like, hello. You know, they, they, they want me to spend money here today? Yeah. And I'll, t and I'll be looking at you, I'll be like, oop, mm -mm. there's, there's the, that's the first red flag. Okay. Yeah, we're going we gonna to go ahead and just in, get up out of here. But this is something that in Kansas City, I could sometimes get it though, babe. I ain't going to lie. I, so Kansas City, some, some African American, every once in a while. Uh, here, no. You better be spending. You got to be probably spending top dollar. You better hope so. Yeah. One of the situations that I've had here. First off, it was hard as heck to find a barber. <laughs> My barber in KC was <laughs> the GOAT. He is the GOAT. Point blank, period. <laughs> DeWan Bonds. Look him up. Patrick Mahomes barber. He was my barber before Patrick Mahomes was even around. He probably was in middle school somewhere. But, like, he's, like, the best. You go on the purple label. It's, it's a um, very professional a sports type of feel it, it's, it's nice no profanity no talking about a bunch of women or yelling across about the basketball game none of that real professional environment so I came here I went to a barber I found him I think through Instagram uh, he was in the <clears throat> Atlantic station area and if you don't know that's kind of here in Atlanta it's a little bit it's given a little bit of plaza with black people right so nice area got some decent shops all those stuff right first off get there uh, he like, you know, he's, he's running behind typical for, you know, so, <laughs> for, for barbers outside of where I come from running good far behind. Okay. So he's doing that. Um, mind you, the environment is pretty decent outside across the street. Mm. A fight breaks out, uh, at the LA fitness. Oh, across. I remember this. Yes. Yeah. I got, I got a video of this. Yeah, Cause I think you called me. Yeah. Dude's like, you outside out there. about the box and then dude pulled up in his car about to pop the trunk. So everybody's distracted by that. So we are, I'm like, oh my Lord, where am I? Where, where am I at this yeah. month? It looked like the plaza, but it's, it's feeling like the hood a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, he's doing my, he's doing my haircut. Mind you, this dude, don't get it wrong. Nice pictures, everything on Instagram. Um, he's doing my haircut and I'm like, all right, cool. Hey, uh, make sure you put the, the, the part, the party. He said, what part? He said, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's probably extra, probably a little extra for you. Oh, hold on. I got the cut, no, your cut thing that the, the total package one that you that you had up there. He's like, oh yeah, that's usually not included, but um, I go ahead and do it this time. But yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can slide it in there. I'm like, oh, oh 
Okay. And so he goes in, he gets done. Uh, as far as, well, he's starting to get done with my hair. He walks by me and say, I got them drugs. I'm like, what? What did he say? I'm like, I got them drugs. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm good. I'm like, are you sick? I'm like, man, get me <laughs> up out of here. Where have I cut? Like, I'm not used to this, man. I'm used to sitting there and. Yeah. Getting the most luxurious, luxurious haircut ever. Yeah. You know, my part and everything. Shoot, DeWine get done in about 30 to 45 minutes and don't got to show me a mirror. Yeah. Never has to. And I'm in this environment now. And I'm like, okay, what am I to do? Finally found me a good uh, barber here. Shout out to Dean. Dean's been doing my, uh, my haircut here in Atlanta. <laughs> but overall, again, customer service is so big to me. And here it's even it's just it's just even worse. No welcome ins. Uh, like you said, they charge you extra for they charge you extra for everything. We just came from a place uh, we ain't gonna say, but we came from a place the other day, and their sauce they charge you extra for their sauce. And I mind you, this is a little cup with yeah. just like not even a quarter, not even halfway filled up. They charge you for the extra sauce every time, and they they kind of know you're gonna ask for more because. Their sauce is bomb. It's probably the only reason why you're going to really eat at this certain place. And I'm like, dang, these people be getting them. And I remember even in KC, it was a certain uh, fish place that you get a thing of fish. They want to give you two tartar sauces. Yeah. Like, what am I supposed, what am I supposed to do with that? Yeah. Um, this overall, like you said, bad attitudes. I remember seeing, sending uh, one of my friends that worked with me to one of the best chicken spots in KC. I ain't going to say which one it is. All right. But I, we sent it. We was on break. And this is T-Mobile. We sent our, our white homie down to get the get the chicken. And he was like, man, hey, dude, it was, he, yeah, it was cool, man. He said, but he said, man, I asked for butter, dude. And he said, they almost felt offended. He's like, nah, the butter's on the biscuit already. And I was like, yeah, I'm so sorry, man. That's he, He's not used to that. He's like, yeah, man, but food's good, though, you know, so. We got to have great service. If we had great service with great food, we'd be killing everybody. For sure. Everybody in sales. Nobody could mess with us, you know? And so on one side, I'm very upset. I'm very heated that we have bad customer service basically everywhere. Mm -hmm. On the other side, babe, I got to defend us a little bit, just a little bit. All right. And here's the reason being. I know where he was kind of talking about the other cultures, they treat better, like the Asians, I mean, even the Mexicans, um, shoot, the Indians, they don't even talk to you. I don't know mm. what's up with that. But anyway, I'm and and you know, Caucasians, they can they basically are giddy as heck. Yeah. And you gotta understand that we built this mug for free. Mm. We tired of working. That's what it feels like. I think that's where it comes from. It's just this tiredness, like, no, we want a piece of the American dream. So what happens is to make up for our piece of the pie that we kind of don't have, we've charged higher. A lot of these people, they're dealing with first, they look, they dealing with second, third generation wealth. So when you go to our nail techs, the nail tech is going to be about 20 to $30 more. Yeah. It'll be great if she had great service on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we've set everybody else up. So yeah, they probably can't have a little bit better customer service, but I just feel like if we got that part down, we'd be killing everybody else. Yeah. I just don't feel like that's a valid enough, excuse like i just feel like black people love blaming slavery for everything it's like no you just have a bad attitude you are prideful yeah have, uh, most of us are not even knowledgeable and educated to even be a be offended by slavery you know yeah. what i'm saying like be we, a lot of us ain't even equipped no we have a mindset that you get a few dollars you buy a mercedes <laughs> you get a few dollars you get a big house you get a few dollars you get the surgery and all of these things you have to maintain yeah, so funny. instead of being able to charge regular prices like all other races do you have to charge double because you went out <laughs> and got a you, your silly butt went out on the straight in them streets and got a mercedes that you couldn't afford yeah. you got the big house that you couldn't afford you yeah. got the weaves that you couldn't afford yeah. now you have a certain image that you have to keep up mm. and in order for you to keep that up you have to double your prices and you got a bad attitude because you're stressed out because you yeah. really can't afford everything that you're that you're doing in your yeah. lifestyle yeah. and so no i don't blame <laughs> slavery i don't think that's half of the reason why these people got yeah. bad attitudes and they double down on the price people are 
people are charging prices that are ridiculously high. I'm talking oh, yeah. about black male techs that are double the price yeah. of the Asians. No, yeah. Asians are living in one house together. That's the, that's there's the part, three. Yeah. Ha- there's three families <laughs> in one home. Black people can't get along enough to do that. We got to move across country to get away from our people, right? So there's a different mindset. These people can be free and they can smile and they can be nice because they don't have so much that they have to pay and keep up. We yeah. are image barriers. We like to hold images and keep them up and keep the hairstyles and keep all the things to keep up with the junk. Them Chinese people don't care about that. <laughs> they have on them flip flops, no lotion and be rich. <laughs> That's real. They dog. have all the all the things that we wish we had. Yeah. Kids able to go to karaoke to private school, private piano lessons, eating great fruit, food, gardens in the back, help, all yeah. of the stuff. Yeah. And 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 yeah, that's why they're happy. No, that's real. They're not happy because no, yes, don't get me wrong, slavery is real, all of those things are real, but I think black people, we get a little bit of a piece of a pie and we run to go spend it and now we gotta keep it up. I think you're exactly right. We we want that instant gratification. Yeah. Um and we're like you said, most cultures they living in the house for, you know, five to ten years with a whole bunch of them all in one house. Yes. And then they do like, well, we have an art and we have a we're in a pretty nice neighborhood, new builds and all that. And it's pretty much ninety five percent. Indian, yeah, and they pretty much all know each other. So yeah, they like family or something. So they kids be walking by themselves up and down the streets, nobody with them. Five year olds, five year olds. Good. How we used to be in our neighborhoods back in the day, well, we can't do anymore. You know, they're just walking up and down the street. Good. They go to each other's house. They walk and they have parties, dance, all that stuff. Man, I wish that we could do the same. So, like, yeah, like you said, a lot of it has to do with that. Um, is that we just want to get everything. We want to have the Benz, the Bentley, all of that stuff. And and so we're overpricing. Uh, but I just know where the root cause of everything it came from. It, it came from that. It's not an excuse. We need to get better. We could be 2,000 years away from slavery but, <laughs> and y'all still going to blame slavery. It's, it's, it has, it's, a, it's a piece of it. it I ain't saying it's, it's, it validates what they're doing. But it's definitely a, so, a piece of it. But yeah. we want to know what do y'all think about this situation? Have y'all dealt with, do y'all think that we got bad customer service like all the African Americans? I want to hear what are y'all stories? Put something down in the chat. I think he was a thousand percent right. <laughs> a thousand percent with all the energy that he had. I feel like that was low key me talking. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This is an Iwebu production. Period. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you could do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and please do not forget to hit that notification bell. We need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content. Yes. Also, we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the Ewebus. And look, we will see y'all on the next video. Holla. <laughs>